Here's Johnny. Come out, come out. All right, guys, I guess you can tell how the voting went. Gary's got the ax. I wanna say thank you to everyone who voted, okay? Personally, I wanted to take at least one of these suckers down, so I'm glad we got the go-ahead, the vote to, uh, to do this, so let's do it. I do wanna say there could be something to these being built by somebody else, so we're not gonna destroy all of them. Keep in mind, we already did destroy one a few months back. We're gonna go check it out today. I haven't been there in six or seven weeks. Let's see if anything has changed there. Let's take this sucker down and see if we can stir something up. Oh, he's found a deer track. So far, that's all I've seen, deer tracks. Stuff is so hard to get through without breaking your neck, especially when it's slippery. One fisher track and three or four sets of deer prints. That's all we've got so far. You know, just kind of leads credence to what I say. Not a physical being. I always say, why wouldn't we see in fresh snow like this, you know? Somewhere, somebody, some hunter. There's tens of thousands of people in Canada out in the bush right now somewhere. And with the prevalence of phones and things that we have now, everybody's got a camera in their pocket. I don't know. You know who's laughing now? It just hit me. The rabbits. The rabbits are laughing now. Two days ago they were white, everything was brown. Now they're like, sucker! So I was doing a loop of the property looking for tracks before I go back to the structure I wanted to tear down. And we've got another one here that has quite a few leaning in. Now people keep asking me, do they point at something? No, I mean, it's a teepee. They point at the sky. Uh, if you were to look at it and say, maybe it has a little bit of a lean in one direction or another, I'm thinking in my head here, the one I showed you guys last time is kind of leaning towards the north, which would be behind me. The one we tore down was kind of leaning towards the west. This one here, it's kind of, kind of all over. You know what I mean? Like they're not really pointing at anything. Uh, this one I'll just count one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six sticks leaning in here. One beam here, and then on this side here, we have one, two, three, four, five. So there's six all together. So I looked at these just to make sure, obviously I already moved that, but you can see they're not, it's at the base of another tree, it didn't grow there. 
Now a couple of these ones over here, this big one didn't grow here. That's placed. No stump. But uh, one of them right here, this one, it's bent over. That one grew there and then it broke. That one, the bottom one here, this one grew here, it's bent. But then this one looks like it's placed. So this one right here, there's no stump, there's no nothing. This one was attached in the ground. And then these two were both from in the ground. They're bent and broke over. I'm not sure I showed you guys this one before. I don't know. We're kind of off of where I normally go. But we're going to take it down anyway. I know where it is. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll come back. I'm not going to put out any cameras on the structures we take down because half of you say put a camera, half of you say don't. We didn't get any action on the apples. You know, back to the cameras just for a second. The thing that people forget, they say, oh, you'll never catch one on camera. I can set these cameras up to take a picture every minute or every five minutes or every 10 minutes and they're going to take a picture of 100 yards out there. But it's not the same during the day as it is at night. And the new cameras have two sensors. Uh, we can also get no glow, low glow. Some of my cameras are no glow. So again, I just want to reiterate, nobody knows anything 100% certainty about cameras and Bigfoot. So pff, we can try anything. But for now, we're not going to put a camera out. We're just going to knock these down, make a nice little neat pile here at this first one, and we'll keep an eye on it. All right, guys, there it is, pile number one. I'll leave my own cross at the end. That'll be Gary talk for rebuild me. I don't know. Hey, prove me wrong. If you're out here, rebuild it by all means. I'll never touch another one. Show me something. Hey, you're not helping. You got to put the stick back in the pile. Over here, buddy. Back in the pile. Put it in. Remember, we agreed we're making a pile. You're going the wrong way. Over here. Put that back on the pile. Come on. Come on. You know, this makes you an accomplice. Hey? Eh? That's right. You're now part of the destruction of this. Gage says it was natural too, he agrees. So he's like, bring it. Let's just knock this sucker down, bring it. Okay, so I've decided just walking around here that in the vein of just in case this is real, I'm not gonna knock any more down right now because that's two. I know where there's five of these things on the property and we've destroyed two of them now. We'll keep an eye on these two. Uh, I <laughs> hey, why take a chance? Why, you know? Could be something, why piss it off? Well, maybe we already have. And like I said, we do want to stir something up, but it's, a, how do you, it's a fine line. This is my property. So, now they could argue, hey, this was my property first. I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know. Who knows? It's all in the name of science, right? Okay, so this is the main deer trail that goes back to my house. The house is just over there a couple hundred yards. I'm gonna put up my own sign right here. So this is my trail and I'm gonna mark this as my trail.
All right, there, that's Gary's marker. We'll see if anything touches that or plays with it. It is not gonna be knocked down easily because I've actually wedged each stick. So it's on the outside of that tree and on the inside of that tree. And then I did the same thing with the crosser. So they're, they're wedged in there. Very solid, there's pressure holding those in place. So if somebody wants to tell me that uh, that's not my trail, they are free to come and remove that and we can share the trail. You could pick a smaller one, buddy. Or you can just chew that one. All this building and destroying is making Gary sweaty. All right, back over to the one we destroyed before. It's probably 400 yards from here, something like that. We'll uh, check on it. Okay, we're almost there. It was right in here. I just have to find where it was. I think this, yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, this is it. So as we can see, nothing has changed. That was the central point of the TP there where we knocked it down, everything just kind of crisscrossed and we left it like that. There was a loop on here which has broken off since that last video, I remember that, but there's Nothing rebuilt, that's for sure. And I don't see anything glaring at me here, around here saying, die, fu foolish human, die. No big log trap on a, some kind of silk web ready to crush me or anything above me. I think we're good, guys, I think we're good. <laughs> if you believe in interdimensional time traveling spaceship flying Bigfoot, you could believe in giant arachnid helpers for the Bigfoot species. Huh? They gotta put their traps together with something. And for the record, yes, I do believe in UFOs and aliens. To think that we are the only intelligent creatures in this universe, or to think that we are the most advanced creatures in this universe, is just asinine. We are just little blips on the pimple of some rhinoceros out in the backwoods of... Our technological abilities are nothing. I believe that. Alright guys, don't be haters. Don't thumbs down me, especially if you're regular viewers. You know what? We gotta try stuff. Nobody knows anything definitively, and that's how science works. You gotta try new things. So, give me the thumbs up, even if you disagreed with taking one down. I left the other ones alone, just for you guys. I'm trying to respect everybody, which is hard to do on a channel with 20,000 people that have 20,000 different opinions. So I'm doing my best guys. We'll catch you in the next adventure. I always love the first couple of snows. It's so pretty. After that, you can take it. After Christmas, I don't want it anymore. <laughs>